Have you ever heard of Dagestan, Russia? No, but it's one of the most beautiful places on our planet. When me and my fiance were flying to Mahachkala, the capital of Dagestan region, we didn't expect this at all. Yeah, a couple of friends went there and they were amazed, but we are pretty spoiled tourists. We've been to dozens of countries and also we are photographer and a videographer, so it's really tough to surprise us with a view. But we were dead wrong. What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On and you're welcome to Dagestan, Russia. And today I'd like to show you some of these places, the mountains, the everything. And it's shot on the DJI Air 2S and the Sony A7S III. So enjoy watching and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this place and come visit this place. All the links are in the description. It's amazing, guys, <laughs> no doubt. Let's go. It all started with a huge sand dune in the middle of the mountains and close to the sea. A magnificent island of yellow sand and some people say that there are even poisonous snakes. A great place for your Instagram pictures. But it was just the beginning. The second day began with the road to the mountains. These are more of the hills, as our driver Megamed said. And we were admiring the views all the way. After one hour of serpentines along the cliffs, we took a boat and enjoyed the trip through Sulak Canyon the deepest canyon in Europe. until the boat driver decided to show us the capabilities of his boat and we began to literally fly with 45 degrees angles at turns and after that added a little more adrenaline at the zipline flight where my fiance Katusha lost her helmet along the way Then we had awesome local food dinner. By the way, the local kitchen is very tasty and unusual. Almost every dish was new to us. Starting with local porridge made out of dried apricots and orbech, mashed nuts and sugar, to chudu, flat bread with meat, cheese or even pumpkin and nuts, to hinkal, lamb meat with dough and special sauce and bouillon. Sulak Canyon is beautiful when you are on a boat, but when you look at it from above, it's a different story. Such a mighty place. And here, a trip to the real mountains begins. We rolled our necks all the way. Also, we had a couple of stops at beautiful places to take pictures and enjoy the view, but it was still far from the real beauty of Dagestan. And yeah, we stayed in a cozy guest house in the mountains with a great view and, may I have your attention please, a swimming pool, speaking about service. The next day became one of the hardest physically, but one of the most emotional. We thought so later in the evening. We had to climb to Gamsutl, the abandoned village at the altitude of 1800 meters. But first we stopped in the middle of the road to enjoy the green plateaus made by people many years ago to grow some vegetables and fruits and we were listening to Armenian duduk instrument and almost crying, that marvelous it was. And here it is, Gamsutl. The mountain climbing with 8kg backpack full of lenses, camera and drone was tough, but it totally worth it.
The abandoned village made me thinking, why would anyone in the world would live this high? But on top, all thoughts went away. It's sad that the pictures and the video and even the drone footage can show you even half of the real beauty of this place. Just to sit on top of that mountain and to literally eat this view with your eyes, it's a real pleasure. And now I'll make a small pause so you can enjoy the views. After descent and a tasty lunch, we chilled a little bit in the guest house, the swimming pool was the best place for it, and then we went to enjoy the sunset on top of another mountain, and it was outstanding. All the group of tourists was discussing this day in the evening and all the guys said that it was one of the best days in our lives and one of the most breathtaking views as well. And our group is really advanced in terms of traveling. The members of the group went all around Europe, Asia, the US and Russia not to mention. And we thought that Dagestan has nothing to surprise us with anymore. But... On the next day we visited Dagestan version of Minas Tirith castle, saying hello to all the fans of Lord of the Rings, the abandoned castle on the mountain cliff, and then we saw. This place is called Gor, or the Town of Troll, Russian edition. It's a pity that we had only an hour there and I wish we could spend a night in this place. We made so many awesome shots there, people were literally crying seeing this beauty with their own eyes. And we were breathing deeply and couldn't believe that it was real. You would say, sounds like an advertisement. I don't care, because I do think every person should see it. And I wish the government of Dagestan region paid me for that, but they don't. Just my own thoughts and emotions, guys. On the final day we visited the castle of Turbant City, but it was too hot to enjoy the excursion, and then we went to abandoned huge warship or a plane, a Kranoplan. From that far away we couldn't understand how big it is, but the drone DJ Air 2S helped a lot, and by the way I have an in-depth review on my channel, so you can check this out in the link description below. Some other things to mention, the guest houses and hotels along the way were nice, the food is really delicious, and the homemade wine, which was hard to get, was really heady, but not as heady as the views of the mountains. We paid around $1600 for the whole trip for both of us, including the plane tickets from Moscow, food and all that. I think those views and emotions cost at least three times more and this price is just a gift. Just come and see it with your own eyes, guys. The words are unnecessary. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notifications bell. I do appreciate it a lot, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.